Good afternoon. It is late August here in southern Michigan and it's just getting to be that time. Season opens here October 1st. But what I'm going to do today, what I want to talk about today, is making a mock scrape. And I like to start my scrapes this time of year. Some may argue that it's a little bit too early, but deer use scrapes as a means to communicate 100% of the year. So I'm going to show you how to make a mock scrape that I feel can be extremely effective. First things first, right here we've got a scrape tree that we installed last year. It's from an oak tree and we really like this setup. And what I've done last year is I put a Reconyx camera on it to kind of monitor this scrape because I don't have a tree close enough to monitor this licking branch. So I'm going to show you exactly what I do. Making a mock scrape, you have to be extremely scent free. First order of business is to spray down. And we like to spray down with a scent elimination spray. Scent killer is what we use. Spray down and then make sure that your hands are covered with some type of scent free gloves. These, are, these gloves are used only to do this. You can see they're covered in briars and things like that, burrs rather. And I like to hit them with just a little bit more spray to completely neutralize up to 99% of that odor. So the next step that I want to do is I want to create the actual mock scrape. And I like to just open up the ground just a little bit. Because if I open up the scrape to about that, then I can come back and check it. Say if I didn't have a camera, if that scrape was opened like this, then I know that other deer in the area, other bucks, are visiting this scrape and opening it up and using it. So I like to start small and then watch the bucks open it up. Is we've got a licking branch right here and the deer absolutely love it and this is this is something that I do not want to touch or disturb at all in any way. So what I'm going to do right below this licking branch, I'm just going to open up the ground a little bit. And what I'm going to do is see where that bottom part is. All right, once you've got the vegetation scraped away like that, um, you can see I only opened it up to about that big. You want to make sure all of that veg you want to make sure all of that vegetation has been completely scraped out. And I'm going to add some curiosity scent. And this is a curiosity scent by Wildlife Research Center, and I'm just going to add just a few drops of it into this scrape to just get their curiosity going this time of year and have them find this right away and then start using this branch. Once they start visiting this mock scrape, deer will um, bite this licking branch, they'll rub their preorbital glands on it to deposit the scent and their preorbital glands are right there in the corner, inside corner of their eyes and they will communicate through this. I do not put much in this time of year, just a little bit. This is an all season attractant. Once you've placed a little bit of it in that, in that mock scrape that you've got going on, I like to deposit just a little bit and do not touch, do not touch that, uh, that licking branch. It is so critical that you, that remains absolutely uh, free of any human scent. So dip a little, and I'm not going to hang this scent wick up here just yet. I don't want that much scent this time of year. All I'm going to do is just apply it on here just a little bit. All right, so the mock scrape is completely set. It's ready to go. I've got a Reconyx camera monitoring the whole thing. And I can't wait to come back in about two weeks to check out the pictures on here. And what we'll do is we'll post uh, some pictures over here of the Whitetail Experience and see what we've got going on. So you guys can actually monitor what's happening here as well. So excited about this. But remember, number one, stay scent free when you make a mock scrape. Number two, start with a small scrape. Open up the ground, clear that vegetation away. Step three, have an interaction branch or licking branch. Um, and apply just a little bit of curiosity scent to it. And then step four, let it sit for a while. If you can get a camera watching it, that would be great because that way you can closely monitor what's happening. This is a brand new product from Carbon Express this year and this is their new arrow called Whitetail. This arrow is a high performance carbon arrow specifically designed for hunting whitetails. The professionals at QDMA have ranked this arrow best in its class for hunting whitetails, so be sure to check it out. 
And for more information on mature whitetails, check out whitetailexperience.com.